Hey, what's up guys? It's Tech Infusion, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this super simple, smooth zoom transition in After Effects. The great thing about this transition is that it's very easy to make. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so here in my composition timeline, I have the two clips that I'm going to transition in between. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the clip you're transitioning from is below the clip that you're transitioning to. So in my case, I'm going from Arial 1 to Arial 2, so I'll want to drag Arial 1 below Arial 2. All right, next we're going to want to drag that top clip over to the right in our timeline till just about when that first clip is about to end. Now when I play it back, you'll see that it's just a hard cut in between these two clips. Now let's begin building the transition. All right, so the first effect that we're going to want to find is called a motion tile. You can find that in your effects and presets window. If you don't see this effects and presets window, you can activate it by going up to window in your menu bar and clicking on effects and presets. All right, so once you have that window, just go ahead and search for motion tile and click and drag that effect on to your top clip. Now we'll want to adjust a couple of the parameters in the effects control window. Here, I'm just going to change both output width and output height to 300. All right, with that done, let's go ahead and create a new adjustment layer. And you can do this a couple of different ways. The easiest way for me is just to right click in this blank space in my layer panel and then click on new and click on adjustment layer. Once I click on that, you'll see that it creates a new adjustment layer for me. Now, if you don't know what an adjustment layer is, it's basically an invisible layer, if you will, that you can add effects onto that affects everything below it. So a lot of times people use these layers for color correction to apply a color grade across their entire composition. But for our case today, I'm going to be applying a different type of effect. So go ahead and go over to your effects and presets window and search for transform. Once you find that effect, just go ahead and add that onto your adjustment layer. All right, now I'm just gonna zoom into my timeline so I can see each individual frame a little bit easier. So let's take our playhead and position it about 10 to 15 frames before this actual cut between the two clips happen. This doesn't have to be exact, I just found between 10 and 15 looks the best. All right, with our playhead in the correct position, come up to your effects control window and click on the stopwatch next to scale. To reveal the keyframes of any layer, with that layer selected, just press U on the keyboard. So I'm gonna press U with my adjustment layer selected so that I can see the keyframes that I am affecting here with this transform effect. Now that we clicked on that stopwatch next to scale, you'll see that we now have a keyframe down in our timeline. All right, let's move our playhead to about one frame before this cut happens. Now let's go back up to the effects control window and adjust scale to 200%. Now just advance forward by one frame on your timeline and then we'll go back up to the effects control window and set scale to 70 percent again these numbers aren't an exact science i've just found that these scaling options look the best when it comes to trying to make a smooth zoom all right now with these three keyframes created let's go another 10 to 15 frames forward on our timeline and then we'll change the scale parameter back to 100 percent all right that's all the keyframes we're going to create but now we're going to adjust a couple of timing options to kind of smooth out the whole transition Select all four of those keyframes, right click them and click on keyframe assistant and under that option, click on easy ease. Next, with all those keyframes still selected, just click on this little icon right here to open up the graph editor. What this will do here is let us adjust timing so that we can speed up the animation during one part and slow it down during the other. I'm just going to zoom in here and get it positioned so I can see them all clearly. So you can see here on this graph editor that we have certain curves and this is basically a representation of how fast our animation is going at certain times. So just follow along with what I'm doing here so that your transition will look the same. So first I'm going to work on the second keyframe here. Just go ahead and click on it to select it. You'll see that these yellow handles pop up. I'm just going to drag this handle right here and drag it all the way as close as it can get to this keyframe. Then I'm going to take this left handle and drag it as far as I can to the right. Now go ahead and select this third keyframe right here. And I'm going to take this left handle and drag it all the way to the left. And then I'll grab the right handle and drag that all the way to the left as well. So after you're finished, your graph should look something along these lines. Basically what I just did is told the animation to start off super slow and then ramp up really fast right around this point and then kind of do the exact thing but in reverse here as well. All right, once you're finished with that, we can exit out of the graph editor by just clicking that same icon. The next thing I usually like to do here is to enable motion blur so that I kind of get that natural zoom feel effect. You can do that by just enabling all these little icons right here. All right, now let me zoom out on my timeline and play it back and see how it looks. And that looks pretty good, but I am noticing that I'm kind of getting this tiling and that comes from that motion tile effect. You can see that kind of repeats on the edge. 
If you don't like how it looks in your specific case, you can click on this option here in your effects control for motion tile and select to mirror the edges. As you can see, when I select that option, those tiles kind of go away and it kind of gives it a cleaner look. I'll play it through one more time to kind of see the updated feel. Yeah, that looks much better to me. So that's how you create that smooth zoom transition in After Effects. That's all for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful in any way, please remember to leave a like and don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and until next time, guys, peace out.